Georgia second down, six and a half for a touchdown. Alabama in that six-five defense again. Washington wide. Matt Robinson throwing touchdown. Well, there was a lot of excitement with the 1976 team. Uh, this was a championship team. Alabama was supposed to be the team that uh, we had to beat that year, at least as far as the conference was concerned, and we did. And I remember the game was played uh, at our place. And I also remember that particular night, and whether they did it deliberately or not, I don't know, that the Georgia student body got in cars, a bunch of them, a whole bunch of cars, and went to the motel where Alabama was staying and circled the motel and honked their horns and hollered all night and blew trumpets and did a lot of dumb things to try and keep the Alabama team awake. I don't remember how well they succeeded. I was told many years after that that part of the Alabama team came out of their rooms and slept in the hall to try and get away from the noise that the students were making outside. And that's not necessarily a great football type uh, discussion, I guess, but it may have had something to do with the football game because they came in and the winner was going to win the championship. I don't think there was any doubt about it. We were a very good football team uh, as far as 76 is concerned, and we ran an awful lot of options, as I remember. October 2nd, 1976, Bear Bryant and the Alabama Crimson Tide came rolling into Athens, looking for a victory that would lead them to a sixth straight SEC championship. But the junkyard dog defense behind Irk Russell's runs had different ideas, shutting down Alabama's vaunted wishbone attack. George is up almost a 6-2. Rutledge, they chase him, they knock him down behind the line. Third and 20. Alabama back in the 40. 9.44 to play. They're in the slot. Got Nathan out there with Bolton on a slot. Rutledge back to throw. They rush him, they knock him down behind the line. And Georgia stole the ball. Slug was running for a touchdown, but they'll blow it there. Georgia will protest that too. Georgia thought they scored. They took it out of his hands. The crowd in the Georgia bench hollering out there again. With the game scoreless late in the second quarter, the Dogs went on a 67-yard drive to take the lead in the final seconds of the half. Georgia second down on the side, 35 and a half. One receiver put a man in motion. Todd rotates the defense. They hook it right over the middle of Davis. Complete for maybe seven or eight yards. Matt Robinson, a low bullet right over the middle of Davis. Georgia, one wide man, Alabama in a 5-2. They give it to McCree to the 25. He went down to the 20. Kevin McCree got seven or eight yards close to the 20. Clock starts 48, 47, 46, 45 seconds and a half. Nothing, nothing. Georgia on the Alabama 20. Robinson going to give it. Ray Pierre Williams shoots it right tackle and gets four or five yards to the 15 and a half. Georgia wide slot right. Alabama sort of a 5-3, they rotate the line, move corner back up with a man in motion, Robinson passing to Davis, the feet on the 7, the 5, down to the 4. Watch the clock, Georgia on the 3 and a half yard line, goal to goal, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, Robinson looking, there's a man open, he's going too high, incomplete with 10 seconds, they're going to go for that touchdown, 10 seconds, Davis and Washington slide to the left, Alabama in a wide, 5-5-1. Five, five, Robinson coming around to the right. He goes at the goal line, touchdown! In the second half, the dog defense continued to swarm the tide, while SEC Player of the Year Ray Goff got the offense going in the third quarter. Football right on the two, and they hand it off, and got a touchdown! In the fourth quarter, Georgia would engineer one more scoring drive behind the passing quarterback, Matt Robinson. Georgia second down, six and a half for a touchdown. Alabama in that 6-5 defense again. Washington wide. Matt Robinson throwing touchdown. Georgia would beat Alabama 21 to nothing. The first time the tide was shut out in 59 games. The victory put the dogs in the top ten and helped Vince Dooley to his third SEC championship as coach.